Hey guys, it's Reed again. Uh, I wanted to come back with you on a, another video um, with our company, Electrostatic Painting. And uh, if you watched it already, we've got another video on our website where it shows you painting of a chain link fence and uh, shows you more in depth of our process on our exterior projects. And I wanted to come back with this new video showing you guys kind of how this works um, indoors. Okay, which uh, makes this process very special. It makes this something that we can do on site uh, in a lot of ways, um, kind of what makes us unique. As you can see here, uh, we've masked up our elevator, okay, completely. We have machine sanded this elevator uh, back to its uh, smooth surface to give you the best finish possible. And so far we have put a mist coat or a tack coat electrostatically and he is about to apply his finish coat. I just want to go through real quick here. Uh, if you haven't watched our other video, I explained it in there as well. But what we're using here is a Rensburg number two handgun. Okay, and it was developed for this electrostatic process. And the way this works is you have a uh, you have your electrostatic pack here, okay, that, let me show you, is on the base of our unit, okay, and this is attached to, attached to a uh, voltage cable that connects to our gun, which gives it the capability to uh, spray electrostatically, and what this uses is a round bell with a contact brush that atomizes this paint as it exits the gun. Okay, and uh, it's pretty simple really what it is. This, this pack is connected to just your standard 110 outlet, okay, where that power is then converted through this pack to uh, so many kilovolts, and which is transferred into the handgun where the paint is positively charged, and then it attracts to your negatively charged surface, in this case, your elevator door. So as you can see, it's, it's very hard to tell uh, with the paint because you can hardly see it, you know, exiting the gun. You can see there on the paper where he starts out. Let me show you guys right here, see? So there's, there's evidence of the paint coming out. It, it is very hard to see uh, until it kind of hits your main surface there. It's really hard to tell how much paint's really exiting. Uh, but really, th this concept is virtually airless. It's atomized strictly through electricity. It attracts to your metal and creates a smooth factory finish. You can see there as it's applied the wet coat. Looks very smooth, very uniform, very pretty. And the biggest concept here is the very low amount of overspray. It's Virtually, virtually zero percent on the spray. I mean, okay, guys, sorry, uh, where I was there, uh, virtually no overspray. And you can see here as he's finishing up, I mean, this, this is from where he starts and you know stops his gun, but you can see here on the uh, remainder of the part of the frame, I mean, very, very little overspray, which allows us to do this in uh, confined spaces, you know, indoors very cleanly, very efficiently, and you use most all of your material. Um, I'm running out of video room here, so basically this is all I wanted to show you guys. This is Electrostatically Painting an Elevator Door by Electrostatic Precision Painting Incorporated, Nashville, Tennessee. I want to show you guys right over here. This is, this is our finished product. These are doors that we painted a few days ago and this is what you get after you've completely painted this door. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is Electrostatic Precision Painting of Nashville. Look us up. Thanks.